Phases on stun and Klingons on the starboard bow. Yes, it's the moment that Star Trek fans have been waiting for. The new film, Generations, is on general release in the region tonight. From the final frontier, Jeremy Hibbard sends this report. It's been three years and many moons since the USS Enterprise's last voyage. But now, once again, embarrassed cinema staff everywhere are hoping that someone will beam them up. The new film is the seventh in the series. In America, it shot up the box office ratings at Warp Factor 10, grossing $23 million in its first weekend. In Plymouth this week, life gym, but not as we know it. 400 trekkers gathered to watch films four, five, and six, and a preview of the new one. I hope to see new special effects. Uh, that's something that Star Trek's always pioneered. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good time. It's Captain Kirk tonight, but I think it's going to be a really, really good film because it's got both the captains in. Come back with me. Help me stop Soren. Make a difference again. Sounds like fun. And after 30 years, this is where Jim finally bows out, unglamorously squashed by falling masonry while glamorously trying to save the universe. He shouldn't have died. He should have disappeared somewhere. He shouldn't have died in it. It won't go down as a cinema classic, but Star Trek Generations will cling on to the existing fans and maybe make a few new ones. Jeremy Hibbard staying firmly on planet Earth for West Country Live. I know it's old hat, but if you had a group of Star Trek fans, Trekkers, not Trekkies, be warned, how would you introduce them? Come on, here they go. Modern technology. Lovely. Robert Souden, Adrian Rowe, and your friends. Adrian, can I ask you first of all, um, he's squashed by some falling masonry after 30 years of going boldly. It's a bit of an ignominious end, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, Captain Kirk's been going around for like, you know, 25 to 30 years now, and I figure, well, it's time for the new crew to uh, go in and uh, take over where he left off, really. I mean, I think they've done a very good job on that in Star Trek Next Generation, and hopefully we'll see a few more movies coming out after this one. It's not going to be the same without him, though, is it? And you still no. call him Captain Kirk, and yet he's an admiral now. Yeah, well, he was an admiral up into one of the, one of the films, and he got demoted for uh, oh. whatever. So he's I'm no, he's sorry, no I should know that sort of thing, shouldn't I? But it isn't going to be the same without him, is it? No, it isn't, really. I mean, you know, it's, it's really the death of a legend, really, and a, and a birth to a new one, really. Um, what is it that makes you so keen on it? Robert, let me ask you that question. A lot of people might think you're a bit bonkers to dress up like this. No, I, I, well, I consider it uh, quite normal, actually. I mean, uh, you know, I, 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 I think the show is a very, it's a very good show. I mean, it's been going on, you know, obviously a long time. Um, and it's, it's just a very good show. That The stories are well written. Uh, it's got slick special effects. Um, you know, it, it, uh, it's like sort of real life, but uh, these days, but set in the 24th century, you know, it's still got human values and uh, it's the same kind of story. I think people can uh, still relate to it, uh, like in their everyday lives, um, you know, now, really. It's not just the, the stories, though, it's the effects as well, isn't it? Oh, yes, they're very slick. I mean, you know, Paramount uh, put a lot of money and time and effort in, uh, into the effects. You know, they got the, the latest uh, special effects. Um, Adrian, you know, can I ask you about this particular film? I mean, Captain Kirk disappears. Do you reckon he'll ever come back again? Um, uh, I'm not so sure. I don't know. I think he, uh, they, they might bring him back, uh, perhaps, uh, in a, a ghost role, perhaps, you know. I don't, but I don't think he'll ever come, uh, come back in a, in, a, in a proper role as Kirk. I think he's gone forever. Do you remember watching the original episodes the very first time it came out? Back in mid-60s, I think it was, wasn't it? I, I wasn't born then. I oh, was born sorry. In, I was born in 68. But I'm, I'm uh, still watching them now. I've, I've uh, been watching them uh, lately, and, you know, I, I watch it a lot anyway. Uh, yeah. But uh, I've, I've been watching them uh, th through again, you know, once again. And they'll be as good in 25 years' time, no doubt, as they are now. Oh, I think so, yes. And uh, also, The Next Generation is, is an excellent show. I think it's made its own mark. You know, uh, the classic uh, Trek uh, was good in its own right, but Next Generation has really made its mark on the series, I think. Well, thank you both with your trusty lieutenants, or lieutenants, as they'd probably say, <laughs> on Star Trek. I don't know whether we can make you disappear. Oh, I'm told we can't. Our battery... <laughs> The batteries on our phasers have run out. Anyway, thanks for coming in. OK, thanks very much. Cheerio. Bye. <laughs> uh, for the first time tonight...